Hey, what's up? My name is Pascal and today I'm going to show you my three favorite ways for adapting your playing to fit different musical situations. I play in various bands and I have to constantly adjust my playing to fit those different musical situations. Also, here at Art of Drumming, we've done a couple of different videos where I've had to play very different styles of music. So let me show you what I do. First, let's talk about feeling. To me, it's always very important to get myself into the vibe of the music. So I try to find out, is it aggressive or soft or chilled or energetic? And to demonstrate what kind of a difference the feel can make, I'm now going to play the same groove three times, but with a different vibe each time. And I'm going to start with the medium standard groove for reference. Now I'm going to imagine that I was caressing a cat with my sticks. Let's get soft. If you look closely, you might have noticed that I made a couple of additional changes. For instance, I played the bass drum heel down now. I also played a cross stick on the snare. And I used the tip of the stick very close to the bell of the hi-hat to give me a softer sound. Next, I'm going to imagine my sticks were sledgehammers and I was tearing down a wall with them. This time, I crash the ride, I put my whole leg's weight into the bass drum and I played loud rim shots on the snare to create a lot of punch and energy. Let's imagine we have a dynamic scale where 1 is very soft and 10 is the maximum volume you can play. I think that most drummers have a comfort zone around 5, with occasional visits to uh, 3 and 7. But I think that if you know what a 1 is and what a 10 is, a 1 will really feel like a 1 and a 10 like a 10. Expanding your dynamic range and changing your attitude through thoughts is a very effective way to make a difference in overall feel. But now let me show you what happens when you go one step further and start adapting your setup. As you can see, I've now set up my drums very differently. I've raised all of the drums and cymbals up like a castle around me because I like to match the height and the setup of my drums to the volume of the music that I want to play. A high setup will go along better with the wind-up motions that I make when I hit hard. Additionally, you can also lower your seat height, which may seem awkward at first, but it will definitely get you out of your comfort zone. This can also be a great exercise to get into that hard-hitting feel. Once you have felt that, you can translate it to a normal setup more easily. When less volume is required, it can be helpful to minimize the distances between the instruments. It can also help to reduce your setup to the minimum amount of parts you need. This will also reduce the amount of distraction and make you focus on what feeling you want to achieve. So here's me playing on a small setup.
You'll be surprised how extreme setups will completely change the way you feel behind your drum set. And you can use this effect to continue the feeling ideas from before. Drum setup of course involves drums and cymbals and their positioning, but other small details such as stick choice can make a big difference as well. And while most drummers tend to stick with one model of sticks for everything they play, I like to mix things up a little and use different models of sticks for different musical situations. And to demonstrate what kind of a difference stick choice can make, I'm now going to play the same groove twice, with the same intensity, but just with different models of sticks. But be aware that not all cymbals and drum heads can handle all styles of playing. Thick heads and cymbals will not respond as well to soft playing as thinner ones, but thinner ones may break more easily. Just match your instrument to the musical situation. In closing, I can only recommend that you throw yourself into cold water as often as possible and leave your comfort zone, because musical environments and setups you're not used to will always open up a whole new world of new possibilities. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it and see you next time. Bye.